Hello everyone. We're back. Well, at least for a little bit. Um, if I told you that we were going to be a while, uh, what would you do? Well, first of all, you probably go click the back button, right? You know, that little button up here that says, go back a page. Well, I'm going to warn you that, yeah, we're going to be a while. <laughs> this is a video of the stuff that I picked up between the dates, we're going to call it September 8th to present day, which would be the 21st of November. Alrighty. And I'm going to let you in on something right now. This is what we're looking at. But let's get started, shall we? All right, I'm going to do this two things right off the bat because there's only one of them, thank God. <laughs> but the first one is actually one of the reasons we were doing we were holding up the video for today. Just got this. This is the very best of. David Benoit, 1987 to 1995. Just got this actually from Barnes and Nobles in Delaware today. And one of the reasons actually is track number six. Now I know you won't be able to read that probably, but track number six is Linus and Lucy. Yeah, the song from the Peanuts. Uh, there's a couple other songs on here that I particularly liked. One's called Drive Time, which is number track number one. And a song called Urban Daydreams. Yeah, that's a personal favorite of mine. I don't mind telling you. So, got that. Just got that today, actually. Alright. Next item. Do you remember when I was showing you the... I showed you one item already, not that long ago. And I said there was an item that I wasn't showing until I did the pickup video. Well, this is it. This is the Diamond Edition of The Lion King from Disney. And, in case anybody's never seen it, there's the, uh, excuse me, there's the DVD. And there's the Blu-ray. The interesting thing about the Blu-ray is it can actually be played on all three regions in the world, so there's no real uh, restriction to it. The DVD, however, is region one. And in case anybody's wondering, yes, I have seen the movie and I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Loved it. Let's see what we're gonna do next year. Next up, well, let's take care of these. <clears throat> Since, okay, these two are the easy ones because these are done. See, in America, the Sailor Moon mangas did make it to the United States. These never did. These are the codename Sailor V mangas. Yeah. This egotistical little mm -mm, got it. Got her own manga. And as I say, now there's this is volume one. And this right here is volume two. And it's like I've already mentioned. This is it. These are the only two books that ever came out for whoops did this one and for anybody wondering yes they are done in a native in other words you don't open them from this end because otherwise you get the stop message you open them from this end the interesting thing is they actually faithfully translate everything so I just mean, doesn't mean to go and all that good stuff. 
They also put an option when they did the translations for these two. Now, you've seen this one. Can I show this one to you before? You didn't see this one. Now, here's the thing. Kodanasha, when they did the translation for this book, they don't call Usagi Bunny. That's what Mix did. They call her Usagi. Don't know if you can see that, but yeah. And this is the second book. Now the first book goes from can I have to look this up? I have to look this up. The first book goes from Act One, which is the set introducing Usagi or Sailor Moon, ends on a tuxedo mask. The second book ends begins rather. Yeah, let's me ends already. On Tuxedo Mask 3, Memoir Kiva, and ends on Reunion with Endymion. As it stands, <coughs> excuse me, right now there's going to be six volumes. And each sailor soldier gets, excuse me, so essentially he gets one. Interesting thing with the note, however, is they don't call it Pretty Soldier. Uh-uh. Don't know if you can see that, but it says Pretty Guardian. Oddly enough, that was the same name as the live action. Hmm. Coincidence? Don't know. Now, here's going to be a bitch. Because you're going to hear me probably butcher the Japanese language probably more than I care to. But, we got a bunch of stuff here. Oh, in case anybody's wondering, these are all optimized. <laughs> Because I'm a weirdo. Okay. The first one, and I, by the way, wrote these down too, is this one. And this one's called Arwakatsu. This was the single, and I'll actually show you the back of it, that was used when the March 11th disaster happened. And the, this CD actually is part of a fundraiser. Every one of the sales of this CD was, um, was used to benefit the Japanese Red Cross. So you buy a CD, you enjoy it, and they also get money for it. Which, you know what? I think it's pretty cool. Oh, and in case anybody's wondering, yes. Every person on the back here <laughs> was part of the song. And I actually have the video in my favorites. All right, next one. Uh, I actually did these out of order, I think. Yeah. This one is called Stargazer from the group Alice 9. The two songs on here are called, the first one is Stargazer, and the second one is called Shin Kiro. Now, here's the thing about this. What, I should make this clear now. When you open this, you'll notice there's the DVD, or there's the CD. Really nice. It's in black, too, and you can't probably see that. And on the back, the front part is the CD. Here's the DVD right here. Can you see that? Open your cap. There we go. The CD, however, or the DVD is in region two. One other thing I should make note of this CD cover is actually type A. There were two types for the CD single. As far as the CD cover, and this just happens to be one of them. If you were to ask me if I was thinking about getting the second one, yeah, probably. Oh, also, if you notice on one of my Jay Mello reports, this is one of three CD jackets that I actually became a big fan of. We're going to get to another one here in a bit, such as this one. This is the limited edition of the C single Nexus from the group Clatters. Clatters is a little bit like, um, how do I put it? Almost like the gorillas in the US. You know how like, the gorillas do like the cartoonish thing? Well, same deal here. The difference is that, um, how do I put it? The record label is not was not allowed to use the actual likenesses of the girls, 
So they came up with these. And almost every time you see a music video involving them, these anime style pictures are what you end up seeing. Also, it should be noted that the song Nexus is the uh, opening to the Oremo anime, which actually just recently came out in the US. And there's side and Now let's see if I can figure out which one. yeah, disc one, that's the C D and that's the DVD. Isn't it interesting though that the color that the color blue and pink, you know, like boy, girl? I, I thought that was kind of fun, so. Alright, what do we got here? Next we have Ah. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. Yeah, surprisingly, this isn't a, this is another one of the non-Japanese albums, but this is the very best of Anya. Unfortunately, this is not the limited edition with the DVD, but it does have a bunch of her hit songs, and one of my personal favorites is track number 14, a very eerie and a very ominous Trains and Winter the Rains. However, if you want to know, a personal favorite of mine that's on here, Track number 10, although they're all damn good. Track number 10, Anywhere Is, and I'm trying to remember the name of the CD that that's actually from. I want to say it's The Memory of the Trees, but I'm, I don't think that's it. Oh, uh, come to me. Yeah, I wish that one was something like that. With the DVD, but it's not. Now then, for for any uh, for the, for any of our friends who love jazz, and especially if it's from Japan, bam! This one is called Moyo, and it's from the pianist Hiroko Matsui. Yeah. Uh, I happened to find out about this artist when I heard one of her songs, which is actually from this very app CD, and it is number. If I can find it here, I know this is riveting, right? Track number nine, Black River. But uh, yeah, absolutely love that song, and I love her so much so that here's her. CD called The Road. Now, I'm trying to remember, is it, or is this the one? Yeah, this is the one I actually listened to all the way through. Uh, songs on here: The Secret Pond, Falcon's Wing, Eugene Wonja, Bohemian Concert, Concerto, Embrace and Surrender, Awakening, Touching Peace, Affirmation, and The Road. Good stuff. Have not listened to this one all the way through. I will probably be doing a uh, CD review of this one, maybe on this channel, at some point. So, me on the out for that. Okay, let's see here. Next up, we have, and I know I'm butchering this one. <laughs> this is one of Okamoto Mayo's, Mayo Okamoto's, Singles. This is her fourth one, actually. And now I'm going to try and pronounce this. Nakachero Hodo Setsunai Keido. I'm going to take a bow for even trying. <laughs> the songs off of here are Jeru I Just Cry Setsunai and the Present for the Future Will. Obviously, the first song is the reason that I liked it and Again, in my favorites, I actually have the video. One of the coolest songs ever that I don't, I don't mind telling you that. By the way, one thing I actually noticed. There's the CD facing you when you open the thing. When you open it, the back of the CD faces you. I don't know why they did that. They actually did that with their fifth single, too. They may have done it with all of them. I just wanted to pay attention. Okay. This one is from the group Perfume. 
and this one is called Fushizen Nagaru and Natural Ni Koshite. Or as I like to put the last one, Natural Beauty Basic, as actually it's been translated on Takuma Japan's page here on YouTube. In case anybody's wondering, there's the front and there's the back. Not really special. Oh, but if you want, there you go. <laughs> there's what's the and there's the actual cup. Also have their uh, laser beam single too, which is actually really good. Now, for any one of us who are anchor fans, this is the CD known as Junjo from Reika Kato. And the first song is called Junjo, and the second one is called Fudren. And the rest is all is actually like six tracks, but they're all like basically, it's basically two songs repeated two more times. Uh, good stuff though. I did have a chance, I did take a listen to this one. Actually, I've taken a listen to all of them, I'll confess that now. Uh, and finally, <laughs> well, when I say finally, I mean at least for this part of the video. This big bastard. Now, if you subscribe to my other channel, you will already have seen this in the I Got This video that I did. If you have not subscribed to the channel, then you didn't see this video. But, what we have here is the limited edition box of the Holy Grail CD from the Versailles Philharmonic Quintet, as we know them in the U.S. In Japan, they're just known as Versailles. Now then, there's three parts to this. The first is the CD and DVD on this side, and of course this is the lyrics, and not surprisingly, the lyrics are going to be in Japanese, but the, all the song titles are in English. That's sort of not surprising. But don't worry, because I have a surprise for you in a minute when we get to it. The second part is this. This is a poster, believe it or not. And I'm going to actually show it to you right now. Like I said, Pete Dorning guy shit on me when it comes to this stuff. Here you go. This is let's see if I can get get them all in the picture. Oh, don't think I'm going to. But this is actually all five members of the quintet. Now I can tell you which I can tell you two of them right off the bat. <laughs> Easy. The one sitting in, on the throne, that's Kamajio. The one to his left is Teru. And the others, I actually, I actually screwed her name, so I ain't gonna try. Two of them I know are Masashi and Yuki. The problem is, I always get them mixed up. And the other one, as I believe his name is Hisaki. And yes, I know what you're gonna think. Women. Are these women? Well, no. But the one on Kamajiro's right, you would think is a woman? Nah, it's a dude. It's just the, because of their music style called Visual Kai that they end up dressing like that. So it's very easy to make just think it's a bunch of dudes dressing in drag. <laughs> the thing is, they're not. I know, that's a shocker. Now, here's something really cool. One of the singles, of, one of the songs off the CD is called Masquerade. Hence, the cover of the book. If you'll notice, they're wearing masks as if you're going to a masquerade ball. The title is in English. Now, if that's not surprising, that's in English. But here's where it gets really good. I don't know if you can read that, but that's actually in English. The whole book is actually wrote in English. 
Now, why am I surprised about that? Well, come on. If you put two and two together to make four, you'll figure out that, you know, they, uh, since they speak Japanese, you would think they would be written in Japanese. Believe it or not, though, it's not. And that, my friend, is probably the biggest surprise of them all. Now, halfway home, guys, don't worry. Here we go with the next part. We have a movie from the U.S. Manga Corps. It is actually all region, too. 13 up is called The Humanoid. Body of Steel, Heart of Gold. By the way, I'm going to tell you this right now. None of these animes I have opened or watched until um, I've done this video. So, I can't really tell you anything about it. However, I will tell you that I do plan on doing reviews on all of these. Okay? Body like a rock, heart like a hurt. Heart like a hurricane. That's what it says on there. And it is only... Let's see if this is on here. I think it's like, four, yeah, 47 minutes. Basically, it's not going to take long. <laughs> 15th anniversary, Season 1, Magic Knight Rare, for you old school anime fans such as myself. I have not seen this one, but I've always wanted to. I actually had the first volume of the manga from Clamp. But uh, something happened and I misplaced it or my mom got rid of it. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this and also seeing series uh, two, or season two now. Next up, this one I have to give a shout out to a former channel called Ash Crimson TJL. Because that user kept using this as a base for some of his his or her AMVs. Squid Girl. This is probably the damnedest thing you'll ever see. Uh, apparently, a <laughs> a Squid Girl wanted to take over the human world. What she ended up is what she ended up doing is making probably the most popular thing ever. Squid Ink Spaghetti. No, I'm not kidding. This is, believe it or not, only part one of the series, which makes you think it's a long one. No, it's like, I think, seven episodes. Yeah, sure. I'm going to just put it all in one. Anyway. <sighs> now, for, now for the really good stuff. Here. These three, I'm, I'm really looking forward to showing you. I'll tell you why. If anybody knows a certain YouTuber's um, Avatar, then these next two DVD sets are not going to surprise you. What will is the fact that at least one of the characters in the series actually ranks as probably my second most favorite character of all time in any anime. That series is La, La Fite Revolutionaire or Revolutionary Girl Utena. Now, I don't know why they do it this way, but they actually blacked out the faces. But, for those of you that are curious, that's Utena Tenju, that's Anthony Hinlamia, the Rose Bride. On the back, that's Mickey Carter. Now, I'm going to show you this. Because this is kind of funny. There are three DVDs with each one of these series. Okay? I don't know if you're going to be able to read that, but it says the Student Council Sock. Okay? Keep this one in mind because when I show you the next one, something funny happened. This one. Is the Black Rose Sock. 
Now, I don't, I'm not exactly sure who the heck this is on the front, but on the back, know who that is? Well, if you don't, that is Jerry Arsugawa, the beautiful leopard. Second most favorite character in all of anime. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Now, and I believe that's Toga Kim, but I'm not sure. Um, here's the funny thing. Let me show you. Do you remember that I showed you the one inside the student council, right? Well, this one has a big old, what looks to be label maker thing on it that says the Black Rose Saga. Apparently what happened was when they went to print these, they printed the student council saga twice. Interestingly enough, when you see the background of this particular DVD, the student council saga shows up in the background, but it's still the Black Rose series. The final section of the box sets, and by the way, one other thing I want to make mention of this too also. This and the Student Council Saga are all, as well as the final section, are all remastered in HD. Which I can safely say it's the first time I made that I've ever owned that's in HD. But it's definitely one of the coolest things. What's funny though, by the way, I should show you this on the spines. It does say the Black Rose Saga, and those do say the Student Council. It's just funny how they screwed that up. Now, I mentioned a while ago that one of my favorite... I had a favorite old school horror anime that I watched. Movie, and it's, this is another one of those central... Or excuse me, there's another one of those US manga core Central Park Media deals. And I had this one on VHS. This is called They Were Eleven. This is probably the freakiest game movie I've ever watched in my life, but I'll explain why more when I actually do the review. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to be singing the praise of this movie. And if you need to see a good horror one, well, I'll tell you why later when we do the review. But this one I wanted to get, and I actually got it cheap too. This and the humanoid. Now we're in the home stretch, kids. And we know. Hmm, we did this in almost another 30 minutes, goddamn. If you're looking for games, I hate to be a disappoint I hate to be a you know a uh, zonker, but well, we uh, we don't have many. We have a grand total of about well, three PS3 games, but four if you want to count the ones at two and one. Atelier Tutori. Now I showed you this one. Here's the thing, funny story about this game. Um, there was an issue with the limited edition, which every, which just about everybody was ordering. What the problem was, nobody knows. I can tell you that my box was one of the ones that was damaged, but it does come with a CD. I don't know if you can see that. It also comes with an art book, but the art book is stuck in my drawer, and I don't feel like for it now. But, uh, I've not played this that much since I got it. Um, it is, by the way, in case anybody's wondering, yeah, it's actually in my system right now. But, anyways. Old school hard game in the sense of I can't beat level one. No, seriously, I can't beat it. Try saying my I can't beat the fucking thing. This is Child of Eden, for those who don't know, and this yes, this was on the 360. Yes, this is on the 360 and yes, it does use connect. Here obviously it can use the move, but it's not a necessary thing. Although I may have to break out and get it just so I can say I have it. And finally, two games in on one disc. 
Ready, kids? Boom. Eagle and Shadow of the Colossus. Now, the funny thing is, my brother had this one. I was looking for this one until the guy actually took to somebody at GameStop, you know, long before I ever told him I was done with him, that uh, told me that this was coming out, and I got it. I actually have completed one of the challenges on the Eco half. One of the, for one of the trophies, so definitely going to try and get both games. I'm definitely going to go through both games and uh, then do a review at some point on each one of them separately. But I am definitely glad to have this. Ah, uh, now, lastly but certainly not least, and yes, kids, this is it. This, for those of you who know this channel, like the back of your hand, you will know the following. I actually did a review of the anime version of this series a while ago. And this, of course, is Aloran High Host Club, but it is the live action grandma. There are only 11 episodes to it, so if I wanted to, I could actually literally watch the series in one sitting and then do the review. Which I might very well do. I'm going to tell you right now, it's just as hysterical as Series 1. Although, or on the, the anime series, although there are some problems... There's one minor problem I have with it. Well, maybe two, but we'll discuss those when we actually get to the review of this. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that is every item picked up from about September the 9th, September the 8th, to today, the 21st of November, 2011. If you actually watched this whole video, congratulations! <laughs> you deserve a cookie. Or a medal. Um, and if you didn't, I totally understand it. But, nonetheless, I hope you'll have a good one. I will talk to you down the line, well, I'll actually I'll be talking to you definitely on Wednesday on my other channel, the J-Pop Music Band 2781. Um, but until then, my friends, you have a good night, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.